Let's push your first product to Shopify. At OwnPrint, you can sell your unique designs on any of our jewelry shapes, or you can choose from our pre-created niche collections. This tutorial will guide you through importing a product with your own design, though the process is the same for any of our products. Log in and select your product. Access your dashboard at app.ownprint.co. Navigate to Stores, click Add Product, and select a product from the Sell Your Own Design collection. Upload your design. If you have a design ready, simply upload it by dragging and dropping or clicking to upload. Make sure your file is a PNG, 1000 by 1000 pixels, transparent, and under 1 megabyte. If you need help creating a design, check out our Canva tutorial. After uploading, adjust the positioning if needed. Once satisfied, click Apply Design to Mockups. Please allow about 30 seconds for the system to update all product images with your design. Add a custom card, optional and recommended. To add a custom card, switch to the card design tab and upload your card in the same way. Select photo mock-up color. Choose the mock-up color for your store's images, gold, rose gold, or silver. Note. All three product color variants will be pushed to your store and will be available for purchase. However, due to platform restrictions on the image limit per listing, only the photo mockups of the selected color will be displayed. If you wish to show images in all colors, you can download all the photo mockups by clicking the download button. Finalize and push to store. After setting up your jewelry and card designs, proceed to finalize your product. Update the title description, tags, select the collections where your product will be listed, and set your selling price. When everything is in place, click Push to Store to finalize. Congratulations! Your product should now be live on your Shopify store. You can navigate to your shop and make further edits and changes to the title, descriptions, and even translate the variant names please make sure to not delete the variants SKU. Don't delete any of the variants that you will use. Do not create any other variants that were not imported from our app and do not edit the vendor name. Editing these will likely affect the fulfillment and syncing process of your orders. Watch the next video in this series to see how to collect engraving details from your customers.